hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is nelo and you are watching nelo stitches today we are going to learn how to cut this um wrap dress so is we are going to focus only on the body part the down part is a pencil skirt okay it's a skirt that you could just attach to the body so but on this video we'll concentrate on the bodies okay i'll show you how to cut and sew it and it also has a band all right so to start up with this is my basic bodies pattern just the normal basic basic bodies okay so this is my dart okay so i'm going to mark my front dart so to mark your front dart you come down from your bust line with one inch and then you connect your dart you mark half an inch on both sides just basic bodies if you know how to draw a basic body you can do anything with it okay so this is my bust line and this is my chest line also known as armhole line and here is my waist line okay so this is the front bodies i've already shaped and marked everything okay here is my allowance I use one inch for my allowance because it's a crepe material that I'm using for the bodies and the neck width I use for this dress is four inches wide. The neck depth is just one inch. We will not be needing a neck depth for the front anyway so I just marked it for um, illustration purpose. And here is the back bodies exactly like the way we mark our, we draw our basic bodies. Okay, the neck width is also the same thing, four inches wide and the depth is one inch okay and then for your dart you have to come up by one inch on your bust line you go up by one inch okay so this is my zipper allowance of one inch this is because i'll not be turning it i'm using a crepe fabric for this but you can use your ankara okay you can use ankara if you want to make this with your ankara so here you need extra five inches allowance okay you need to add extra five inches before you start drawing your um, basic bodies you need to leave extra five inches for your wrap okay so guys you may be wondering why i changed this pattern i the first one i made a mistake on it and i wouldn't like to show you guys rubbish i did not add my dart allowance so i had to discard it and start again okay so i forgot to add my dart allowance so this is um the neckline four inches everything is still the same the only difference is that i did not mark the neck depth like i did on the other one okay so the first thing i'm going to do now is to mark my band so the band width i'm working with is two inches so i'll be marking two inches like this on the waistline from the waistline upward so i marked two inches and i'm going to connect that with a straight line okay so next i'm going to bring out this line a little bit because that is where we'll be marking our wrap that's where we are going to create our wrap okay so on that line i'm going to mark three inches you can use if you want it to cover not to show your cleavage you can use five inch in fact i would advise you use five inch i used three inches and my cleavage was showing so i had to use camiso inside to wear it so if you want the one that will be showing your cleavage you use three inches but if you don't want it to expose your cleavage you use five inch okay so this part is the band so here i marked five inch outward and i'm going to connect from the neck width down this way okay so I would advise you use 5 inch so that it will wrap very well and cover your cleavage. I used 3 inches and it was revealing. Okay. Alright, or you use 4 inch depending on your choice. So we are through with the front panel. So now I'm going to cut this out. So before I cut this out, I'm going to fold that okay as you can see i've started cutting it already before i remember so i'm going to fold close the dots like this you close the dot on the band side this way and then you redraw your line so that it will be equal then you cut your band out
okay cut your band out so you have to label your band i'm going to label you use the masking tape to hold it down then you label it so i'll label this side i'll draw an arrow to show me that that part is the downside and i'll label it front and i also draw an arrow at the side center front to show me that that is the center front this one is showing me that is the down part and the other one is showing me that is the center front right so you can label yours anyhow you think you can remember and i am going to cut the remaining part out like this okay i'll cut the armhole side So the front armhole and the back armhole is basically the same thing. I came in by half an inch to curve my armhole. And here is my shoulder slant of one inch. Okay, and we are true. And now let's move to the back. So this is my zipper allowance. Okay, so I'm going to come in by half an inch on the zipper allowance. And I connect towards my bust line. Okay, so I marked half inch. This is to eliminate um, bulginess at the back okay okay so i will mark the half an inch inside like this so i'll mark it back replace the half an inch i'm going to cut out inward like this and i'll connect towards the bust line also like this okay and we also have another method of doing this you can go up from the waistline at the center back you go up by one inch you connect like this you slant it okay so let's do that too so that anyone that is easier for you to do you slant your waistline you go up by one inch at the center back on your zipper allowance side at the center back and then you're going to slant the side must remain the same so just that center back you slant it this way okay so this way you now have a zipper a zipper bulge at the back of your dress okay but i'll be working with the first one this one okay i'll be working with the first one i did and then for the back i'll replace the half an inch here okay so that i'll not have shortage of fabric i'll replace the half an inch like this okay and that is all the back is so simple just your basic back your basic body's back okay just your basic body's back. Yeah. Okay, first of all, we'll mark the band. We'll mark the band of two inches. Okay, so I'm marking the band of two inches. But if you're using this other shape, this, um, the one you went up by one inch, you have to follow the shape of your, uh, line to mark your band okay but because i'm not using it so i'm just marking a straight band because i'm not using the one i went up by one inch i'm just marking a straight band but if you're using the first uh the second one i draw this one if you're using it make sure to follow the shape of this shape make sure to follow the shape to draw to mark your band like this okay you follow the shape like this to mark your band right so that is all for this so i'm going to close the dots now to cut out my back band i'm going to close the dot so i'll use a masking tape to hold it so i'll draw the band like this so that they will be equal and then i'll cut it out holding the band close the back the dart before you cut okay so you hold the dart or use a masking tape to hold it down before you cut
So now I'm going to cut the remaining part of the back panel. Okay, so now I'm going to label the band the back and also draw an arrow to show me that here is the down part and also draw an arrow at the zipper side to indicate that that is going to be the zipper side center back right guys i'm so sorry about the background noise okay so to cut out on your fabric you fold your fabric into two like this you place your pattern on it if you don't have pattern um allowance on your pattern now is the time to add it so I, i've started cutting before i realized i forgot to add half inch at the down part okay so you need to add half inch seam allowance at the down part before you cut so i've started cutting already and i will not waste this fabric i'll just cut like that okay so but i have i think i have a little thing i moved it upward a little so i, I have like 0 0.25 allowance there and i'll manage it okay so it's too small but i'll manage it so make sure to mark half inch allowance down or you can also add it on your pattern so as not to make a mistake you just know that you just place and cut out exactly the way your pattern is without adding any allowance okay so i will notch my that side remember to notch your that and also your zipper allowance i'm cutting the back and the front I folded my fabric into two to cut the front also all right the front is two pieces the back is two pieces okay so this is the back the back panel I'm going to and for the side this is the facing so I cut the facing for the back I just followed exactly the neckline I folded my fabric into two I cut exactly the neckline okay I cut a facing for the back too just place it this way and so with half an inch okay so that is how i cut my facing i only trace the neckline okay so i'm kind of indicating the back side of my um fabric because it's difficult to see it's kind of tricky so this is the front panel you also add half an inch at the down and half inch on this side okay half inch on this side and half inch at the down okay for your sewing allowance okay so I'm going to and you also notch your that side you notch your that too so here is the band I also added half an inch seam allowance at the up and at the down part and the center front is cut on fold as you can see it's on fold okay why this one is cut two pieces is not on fold so I just cut four pieces of this while the center front is cut on fold. God, sorry guys for the background noise. Okay, guys, for the Ankara that I'm going to use for the front facing Abi Cola. I don't know what to call it if it's, if I should call it cola or facing. I don't know. So so this is four inches wide. Okay, you can do three inches wide, but mine is four inches wide and the length is longer than the front panel okay so i'm going to fold it into two wrong side facing the wrong side of each other that is the ankara and i'm going to place it like this on the wrong at the right side wrong side of the bodies and i'll sew with half an inch and i'll flip it towards the right side or over the right side like this okay so we are going to sew from the wrong side of the fabric then you flip it over to the right side so here is my band i ironed an interfacing on them all of it i ironed interfacing on all my band pieces okay so here is the back panel i've sewed the neckline with half an inch like i showed you guys and i notched it and top stitch on the facing and this is how it looks and this is the second one okay and here is the front panel i placed the anchor at the wrong side as i said earlier and i sew and turn it over to the right side like this 
that way the inside and outside is going to be neat okay so i iron this out i'm going to cut out this excess i have here okay and i'm going to bring the second one this is it and i notched where i i added like the three inches i added for the overlapping i notched the three inches so i'm going to um trim out the excess of this and i'm going to match lap it with the three inches where i notched so i'm going to place it this way so here is the three inches i'm going to place it this way okay this is the three inches where i notched the extra three inches i added for my overlapping so i'm going to pin this down next thing i'm going to do is to stitch on it this way i'm going to hold the two together with a straight stitch okay so i'll sew on it i'll sew here this way so that there will be one that will stay in place for the band this is the right side of the band i'm going to put it under the bodies like this the right side facing the wrong side of the bodies okay so i place it this way and i'll get the second band i'm going to place it right side facing the right side of the bodies okay like this remember to notch the midpoint of your band so that you know the middle where to sew your band so that it's not have it will not be much on one side and small on the other side okay and i will sew straight okay i'll join them together this way i'll start sewing from the middle okay and i'll do the same thing to the back panels i'm going to add the band exactly the way i add the front panel so here is the back panel i've added the band as you can see and i've ironed this out also and this is the front panel this is it and when you flip it over this is how it's going to look okay you iron it out you iron this so that it will stay flat okay so as you can see the inside is neat and the outside is also neat so next i'm going to get my skirt and i'll show you how i'm going to join them together so here is my skirt i've already prepared it i have a tutorial on how to draft a pencil skirt you can go check that out so this is my skirt this is the right side of my skirt okay I'm going to turn it to the wrong side so here is the wrong side of my skirt I'm going to take the wrong side of the back of my band like this okay I'm going to place it this way okay wrong side facing the wrong side wrong side facing the wrong side of each other this way okay not the midpoint of your band and the midpoint of your skirt also all right you place them wrong side facing the wrong side of each other and you sew okay and after sewing you're going to have a neat finish on the inside like this did you see that and then you bring it to the right side you will not use the front part this part to um conceal the rough edge okay so remember to fold in half an inch iron it out so that it will be easier for you to top stitch you place it this way and top stitch on it this way you have already concealed the rough edge the inside is neat and the outside is neat okay top stitch with quarter inch in case you are working with Ankara, you need to cut lining for your Ankara so that you can turn the side with your lining, okay? So let's assume this is the Ankara and one part of this is the lining because you're going to cut the Ankara and the lining exactly the same. So let's say this is Ankara and this other part is the lining. You're going to place them like this and so right side facing each other and so and then you flip it, you turn it over, okay? And then top stitch on the front side okay you don't need to turn this side because this thing already has torn it for you you just turn it with this and it will look neat okay in case you're using a lining and for the back panel let's say one is the lining one of this is the lining and one is the facing you're going to turn your neckline 
the neckline you turn your zipper allowance and turn the side okay okay and then for this you're going to leave excess on one side and then you turn your zipper to you turn your zipper with the band like this before you flip over so that you have a neat finish on your zipper allowance side okay in case you're using lining and ankara okay so now i'm going to fix my zipper and finish up my dress so here is the final look i'm done turning the top stitching on the facing joining the skirt and the bodies together as you can see the inside is neat okay and this is the front side the right side is also neat and i've already added my zipper and i'm true with the um dress thank you guys for watching please like and share this video and if you have any question don't hesitate to leave it on the comment below and i'll be there to reply you by the grace of god see you in my next tutorial bye